Hey guys, Fred7 standing by, back for another video, and today, this is going to be a different video than what we usually have. Basically, I was watching MGF Customs' newest video on all of his old Sharpie clones, and then I was thinking, hey, I'm going to do the same, but I've only Sharpie clones, and maybe a few other minifigures, as you can see. So, I'm just going to show off all of the ones that I think are actually decent in it, enough to show on camera. So yeah, let's get on that. So we are going to start off with the only non-Star Wars character that I have, Aragorn from the End of Return of the King. The only thing that's actually custom about him is that I got some green stuff and put it around the hairpiece and then put all these little points, which are horribly done, but it's for the Lord of the Rings stop motion I'm making because Lego hasn't actually made an official crown piece yet that works, so I made it myself. And I just sharpied it silver. And that's fun because there's a bit of that in there. And that's the only part of him that's really customized. Everything else is from, oops. Everything else is just from random minifigures. Like obviously the head is Aragorn. This is from the Lego minifigure thing. Uh, these are, these legs, I don't remember. And the sword is from the Harry Potter set. So that's fun. Now onto the Star Wars customs. We have Darth Bane from the Old Republic. I took his, basically his entire design along with Darth, Darth Nihilus from MGF Customs Sith Review, which is probably also gonna be a link in the bio. So I just got some nail polish remover, took off his angry face, cause MGF already did that. And he badly tried to make the other eye because this eye looked out pretty good but this eye i just i guess i just swiped it or something and didn't notice so now that's messed up and the cape is just the rest of it's just a normal palpatine figure so that is that is darth bane next up we have darth nihilus from the old republic also taken from the mjf custom sith collection video so i just got a I tried out about 16 or so skeleton heads on the back, trying to make the face perfect, and this is the best result on the white head, actually. That's cool. So that's fun. I'm actually really proud of this because of all the tiny details. Not really proud of the fact that this sticker is kind of, the circle is kind of messed up. But when you put the hood on it, you can't really tell, and it looks really good. The body is just, I think, Darth Maul, and I think the legs are from, I don't know, at this point, we have so many cloaked legs. So yeah, that is Darth Nihilus. Next up, we have the Darth Maul Mandalorian from Star from Star Wars Chrome Seasons 5 and 7. Sadly, one of the horns broke off. I think I made this I, about 2015 to 2016, so that was fun. The body and helmet is there. Beige. It's, I think the body's just from a normal Death Watch character. I'm like 99% sure. The arms are beige. The jetpack, I don't think I, I think I was supposed to, I wanted to spray paint this, but I forgot. So that's fun. The head is just a clone head because I always forget to change it up. So yeah, that is the Maul DeLorean. Next up, we have my favorite Star Imperial Trooper, the Scout Trooper. I just got a white Sharpie and tried my absolute best to give him the detail. I really hope we get dual molded arms and legs for him eventually. And I think I based this off of the 2013 one that came out in the Endor set. And I just got the one that I already had and made this. I think I also tried to Sharpie in right here. But yeah, I'm so glad that we finally have a new one, as you can see on the, on the end card. So maybe I can customize my channel logo onto the new one. Because this one I can't because it's too tiny. So yeah, it's just a very simple one. On to the next one. Okay, so funny story about them. These are technically customs because I was trying to add the face to them. And before I knew about the toothpaste thing, title card is showing up right here, by the way. You should go watch that video after this one. I had to use nail polish remover to fix the visors because I always drew on them with like Sharpie, which is ironic. And the visor was completely messed up. I think you can still see the faded bits right here. So what it is that I just got a fine print Sharpie 
and just tried my absolute best to trace over it. And I think I did a pretty good job. Obviously a bit bumps and it's very inconsistent, but aside from that, I think it's pretty good. The torso right here is a bit scuffed because these are, I think, 12 year old minifigures at this point. So yeah, that's them. Oh yeah, this one is a Jet Trooper, by the way. I felt like I should mention that. So yeah, that's these two. Next up, we have Clone Trooper Axe from Star Wars The Clone Wars. As you can see, he has these little... I was trying to make the perfect lines on both sides. I did not. It is messed up. But to make up for that, I added, I put a little green stuff on his chest to make that pilot air support system he has. So that's fun. I also drew the lines on him right here. And I just realized that's an Apo symbol. I wonder why we never mentioned that. And the face is completely inaccurate. So yeah, that is Axe, rest in peace, you six foot giant. Okay, this is the second to last custom that I'm really not really proud of. It is the Munilus 10 Heavy Gunner. If you don't know what the Munilus 10 are, go watch the Star Wars Diplomas 2003 show on YouTube. It is really good. It's only about two or three hours long total. It is awesome. And he was my favorite growing up, so I tried to make him by shaving off a clone head, putting green stuff on the nozzle to give him that little push. And I think I, yeah, I put a toothpick in to make this go in more because it just stuck out. And I just used a cloth, blue arms. I hope this wasn't a Captain Rex torso. And the head is just Han Solo because of course it is. So yeah, I might try and remake the a gun thing he has, but I don't know how to do that, so that's gonna be fun. Here is my most recent custom, Clone Trooper Tup from Star Wars The Clone Wars. There's actually a funny story behind this one. The, hel the helmet was originally a Commander Neo helmet, and what had happened was that I didn't like Commander Neo because I watched a video saying that he was mean. This was a really long time ago. So I took some nail polish remover, I completely destroyed that helmet. I turned it into a Captain Rex helmet, which I hopefully still have a picture of somewhere that's gonna show up on screen now. But basically, two days ago, oh no, like, I think earlier today actually, I was like, okay, no, this Captain Rex helmet is horrendous. I have the Clone Army Customs one now, that one is great. But now I have this extra Rex helmet. So what I tried to do is that I got nail polish remover again, and I tried to take off all of the printing, but I didn't know that the printing or the Sharpie ink would kind of just smudge everywhere. So what I did was like, okay, you know what? I still, we, I don't have a command, uh, top. I don't want to spend $27 on him. I'm just going to make him. So that's what I did. The visor I'm pretty proud of, the little teardrop he has, I actually kind of like the look. It looks like he's battle-worn, but none of the other body does. He, of course, has a teardrop that's hopefully on the right eye. I don't remember now. The teardrop with the line on both sides and his little symbols. So this was a pretty easy custom that I made, like, I think about an hour total because I kept on having to redo this. So, yeah, that is Tuck. Rest in peace. Okay, so here we have the 501st Custom Trooper that I made. This was actually based off of the action figure that came out in like 2010. So I just got a clone body and the Phase 2 old helmet that we hit used to have. And I just went at it with the Sharpie. It's actually not that bad now that I look at it. It just needs some work done. Like, I guess, I like to believe that this is what most of the, the 501st actually look like since the paint was hand done. So I'm actually not that, not that bad at this now that I think about it. Arms are of course sharpied on because dual molding didn't exist. The symbols and to compare because this is the only trooper that's already been made in by Lego. We have the new 501st. Let's just call this 501st version beta or something. And the 2013 one. So the chest is completely inaccurate to both of them because this one stops this one goes too long and doesn't have any of the hole so there's just a complete mess up somewhere here and i tr i made little little v's in the legs and the head goes all the way down 
and I don't think it went down to the chin because I was also watching the Embara arc at the time and the Embara arc's first two episodes didn't actually have it go down to the chin. So I didn't add that. I think the head is actually a Nindroid from Ninjago. Let me check. Oh, what do you know? It's not. Oh, well. Still, that is my 501st troop, but let's call him uh, Henry. Okay, so another funny story about this old scuba trooper here. What had happened was that I had made a Commander Neo in phase one based off Noble, Artist, Noble Artist's video a few years ago. And I thought this was so cool. And then I realized, oh wait, no, there was no phase one Commander Neo. And I didn't know how to get Sharpie off at the time. So what I did was, I really wish I had pictures of this, but I had cut the entire ch uh, mouthpiece off of this troop, of this poor, poor clone trooper, if I can take off the helmet. Yeah. You can see that I actually cut the entire mouthpiece off. So later on, I'm, th I'm thinking, okay, this needs to be fixed. I can't have this. So I put some green stuff in. I gave him a scuba trooper because I'm probably never gonna buy the Clonomy Customs one. And I just went at it. You can actually see some of the old Neo symbol right here. So yeah, I'm actually really proud of this. I just I just wish I had a better white color. And the torso is completely hand sharpened by me. You can tell that because of how squiggly the lines are. It's a Luke Skywalker to torso. And it has a breathing apparatus. So yeah, that is probably gonna be the only scuba trooper you see on this list or show or whatever I'm doing. And finally, we have by far my favorite of the ones that have customized the Lieutenant Thyre from the first episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars I remember watching that episode looking for the Lego sets yet again based off the action figure I had I remember always just like getting the like getting a red like marker and just going at it with the cheeks and then just f doing all this sharpening work done and then this pauldron it was awesome for me because it was just such a fun experience. And the arms are, of course, it's all sharpied by me. And I just, and earlier this week, I just kind of just got a sharpie and just redid it all because it was so faded over time. But yeah, it's kind of sad knowing that we're probably never gonna get a Lego Thyre Jekyll Reese. I think that the, one of the troopers, yeah him. I think that this was supposed to be Jekyll Thyre. I can never tell, and I will never tell. But this was supposed to be Thyre, or this was supposed to be one of the other Senate Commandos, who sadly never gets, will never get to see in action in Lego. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Okay, so at the end, I thought I might as well show off all the clone heads I've made. We have Commando Wolf, Fives, a uh, battle damage, a very battle damage clone, a uh, slightly battle damage clone, Jesse, a uh, clone trooper with a missing eye, and finally at the very end it's Kix, because he, a uh, very faded Kix, because of all the lines that were there. But yeah, some of these I'm gonna add, I'm gonna buy the clone army customs for and add them like Jesse, Fives, and Wolf. Others I'm just gonna let rest for battle damage if I want to make a stop motion with them. So yeah, through the past nine years of me watching Noble Artists and MGF Customs, they used to be big inspirations to me. Some They still are in a way, but I kind of strayed away from customizing because I realized I banned it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you think I should customize again, not to this level, but maybe just like, like do what I did for Revan or Bane. Make more sick or something, I don't know. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.